The winter storm along the east coast is producing impressive snow totals. 11 inches in Philadelphia, more than 10 inches in Foxborough, Massachusetts, south of Boston, with more to come. Over 7 inches in New York City and 3.5 and inches in Washington. All that snow means thousands of miles of roads need to be plowed. A new project is giving states high-tech tools to save more lives. Don Daler is in Martinsville, New Jersey. Don, good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Charlie and Clarissa. Yeah, I'm on a snowplow in Somerset County, New Jersey. Bob Harding and the other snowplow operators have really been working all night, and the roads are in pretty good shape considering the fact that we got up to a foot of snow in this area. These snowplows are typically dispatched according to the weather models, the forecast for where the trouble spots will be. But there are some new technology being tried out in some places that turns them into mobile weather labs using sensors to target the iciest roads. Snow and ice caused this deadly pileup near Milwaukee in December. Fifty cars were involved in the massive wreck. One man was killed. Each winter, states and cities spend tens of millions of dollars to keep roads safe. But accidents related to wintry weather still claim the lives of more than 4,000 Americans a year. In Michigan, the state's Department of Transportation, or MDOT, maintains nearly 10,000 miles of that state's roadways. This winter, Michigan, along with Minnesota and Nevada, are rolling out a new weapon for tackling ice and snow-covered roads. Custom-designed sensors that measure road and weather conditions attached to hundreds of plow trucks. The goal? Ensure that hard-hit roads that need immediate plowing are prioritized. Prior to this technology, we were somewhat in the dark. We had to kind of guess where we needed to be. We had to kind of guess what the forecast was going to lay out in front of us over the next 6, 12, or 24 hours. Sensors gauge temperature and humidity, as well as road conditions, through the vehicle's diagnostics. So you get things like traction control, you get stability, you get ABS. The other device is what's called a surface monitoring device that picks up ambient air temperature, it picks up humidity, it picks up dew point, it picks up surface temperature. Data is combined with computer weather models and relayed back to maintenance garages. The information is then displayed in each vehicle so that supervisors and drivers have a near real-time snapshot of every mile of road the trucks have traveled. But it's not just safety. States and cities can also save money by reducing the amount of excess chemicals and rock salt unnecessarily spread on roads. Last year, trucks spread more than a half million tons of salt and 93,000 tons of sand on Michigan state roads alone. They hope the new trucks will be more efficient. These pinpoint conditions can help us tell the operator where they're going to leverage their resources better. If we're using less sand and salt and chemical, we're dispensing less. If we're dispensing less on the road, obviously that's less impact on the environment. Later this month, New York will become the fourth state to start using these kinds of technologies. The U.S. Department of Transportation is going to look at these, pro these pilot programs to see how they work before implementing the programs in other states, probably by next winter. Charlie, Clarissa? You get all the good assignments, don't you, Daler? <gasps> I know, icebreaker one week and now a snowplow. I feel like a little kid out here. And so what did you know about snowplows now that you didn't know yesterday? I, I, they're a lot easier than you doing it by yourself. I know that just from personal experience. Oh, Thanks, Don. Have fun out there, Don Taylor. Thank you.